Uh, my name is Randall File. I'm Dickinson 08. Uh, the name of my project is uh, Diversity or Neo Segregation. And basically it's just looking, about, looking at uh, multicultural groups on campus and how that relates to our identity. My name is uh, Mustafa Binte. I'm uh, originally from Senegal, which is a um, country from uh, West Africa. Like in many villages back in Africa, it's usually you have a big family. I have um, four siblings, two brothers and two sisters. And um, you know, basically from the village, I, you know, I did my primary school education in the village. And from that, I moved into the city for my middle school and the beginning of my high school education. And uh, after one year of high school, I got a chance or an opportunity to go to Italy to pursue my high school education. And from Italy, I you know, got a scholarship to come to Dickens. Okay, hello, my name is Richard C. Robinson. I'm a senior here, class of 08, it's in college, American Studies major, poli sci minor. I'm from New York, all of New York, more specifically. I just classify myself as African American. That's my family's background. Of course, there's some miscegenation there, which is the case typically with African Americans in this country. I might want to get into my genetic percentages, but I classify myself as African American. My race is black, my ethnicity is African American. Uh, my name is Tandi Anyona, and um, I come from the country of Kenya, which is uh, located in Eastern Africa. Uh, I've lived there for about 19 years of my life. Uh, in my family, I have an elder brother and an elder sister. And uh, most of my life, I guess, I've lived mostly with, with my, my mother because uh, my mother and my father lived in two different cities. Uh, after finishing high school uh, back home, I went for two years to study in Scandinavia in the country of Norway. And there was an international school uh, with kids from 80 different countries. Then uh, after those, those two years, that's when I applied to come and study in a university in the United States. My background, my mother is Irish, German, and American Indian. My father is Irish. I grew up in New York City. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Queens, which is known to be the most diverse county in America. I live in a neighborhood that's predominantly Muslim and Colombian. I'm Paula Lima and I uh, work as the Director of Diversity Initiatives at Dickinson College. Um, I often get mistaken, um, which is not a bad thing, mm. for like Dominican or mm. any other Spanish group and so I'm, my family's actually from the Cape Verde Islands. Um, it's a group of islands off the west coast. So I'm originally from Massachusetts and so I, I guess I, if I identify myself, I identify myself as, I say American Cape Verdean. Uh, my name is Janae Daniels. I'm a senior. Um, I was born in South Africa, still live there. Um, my family struck ethnicity, I guess. Um, we're white and Indian, although I definitely look neither. Um, and when I was younger, I guess I never really had to define that for anyone because no one asked and no one, because where I came from, like the community I lived in, was 
for people like me. My name is Adam Ulrich. I am a Dickinson Scholar, graduating this year in 2008. Uh, studying anthropology here. And, uh, I was born and raised in New York City. I was born in the Bronx. Uh, lived my entire life in the Bronx. Well, in terms of ethnicity or, or something like that, I consider myself Jewish. I, my family was uh, mixed. My, my father is not Jewish. My mother is. But in, in the Jewish faith and tradition, you take your, your mother's uh, ethnic background. So, I think that it would be normal, natural, for people to feel comfortable around people like themselves. That could be for a multitude of reasons. It could be because of skin color, religious view, socioeconomic background, common interests, whatever the case may be. Uh, but again, the question is, you know, what exactly is like you? Anytime I see a person who looks like me in any form, in a way I sort of, sort of think, you know, they might have gone through the same experiences I've gone through, and for that I give them a certain respect or have certain preconceptions about them, and those are things uh, I value very much. And so, um, I'm a colored person in South Africa, mm -hmm. which means we're mixed race, and it's like it can be black and white, black and Indian, white and Indian, mm -hmm. Indonesian and Indian, it can be, it's anything that's not either fully Indian, white, or black in South Africa. At the same time, people also think that because you're the same color, like you and I are the same skin color, but we have absolutely nothing, I'd say, in common. We have not had the same upbringing, background, experiences. The first people I sat with were the football players and all of them were black and it's because I felt comfortable and had the assumption, you know, these are black people, of course, uh, we are the same, so I would sit with them, you know. And even sitting with them, I would saw our conversations, of the conversations they had, uh, some of them I couldn't associate with because I've not been born here, I've not been raised here. So in a way, in a way we are, we are sort of, there is a difference in experience, that means there is also a difference in, in a way, attitude, you know. Because culture is not how you dress or how you sing. Culture is, there's, those, is, is all those things come together. Those, I think deep within there's, there's things that, that unite us. Mm -hmm.